All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on the video. I am Daryl Sung, and this is the uh, Mortal Kombat 2 versus Super Street Fighter 2 head-to-head uh, -head video. Now, why did I choose these two games to go head-to-head? -head? Well, uh, Super Street Fighter 2 came out in uh, September of 1993, and uh, Mortal Kombat 2 came out around June of uh, 1993. But a lot of people think that it came out in October, November. That might be the first time it showed up at your uh, local arcade. So the date for Mortal Kombat 2 is a little off. But uh, bottom line is, they're both great fighting games, and they both uh, came out around the same time. Now, uh, I know what you're thinking. This channel is primarily Mortal Kombat 2 stuff, and uh, I might be a little biased what you got something to say well yeah i think you're a little biased i mean your shirt is mortal kombat uh, all you talk about is mortal kombat all you play is mortal kombat i mean you've barely given street fighter any attention on this channel so why wouldn't i think you're biased it's gonna end up uh, being whoa 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 stop right there bushy stallion i am not gonna be biased i swear this is gonna be a fair review i mean yes i love mortal kombat 2 as everyone on the channel knows but i also love street fighter 2 so it's going to be completely fair. Uh, anyways, moving along, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into four categories like I did with the, the other videos. Uh, we got graphics, sound, controls, and overall fun factor. I mean, uh, Mortal Kombat 2 is pretty perfect, so... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. See, what was that? It's not going to be biased. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 is better. Come on, we all know that uh, Street Fighter 2, super Street Fighter. So, I mean, look at these graphics. Look at that. It's incredible. Uh, we all know that this is going to be better. Anyways, listen, I don't want to. I don't want to start that. How about we just get into uh, some of the gameplay right now? Uh, the first uh, topic that we will uh, discuss is the uh, the graphics. How about we get into that now? Let's uh, do a little gameplay of your uh, Mortal Kombat 2 over there first. Yeah, sounds good. Bushy stallion. <laughs> All right, Mortal Kombat 2, let's talk about graphics. First off, look at this introduction. It's friggin' beautiful. Look at that, great story. Let's get into it. So, here you go, character select screen. Is that pretty or what? Look at these vibrant colors, awesome character faces, big, tall characters. You get the lightning in the back subtle but it's there Round one, check out this first match so Raiden against Shang Fun already you can see the blood is nice and red it's vibrant and background look at that acid pool is that beautiful or what chains in the foreground chains in the background this is truly awesome You know, this game looks so good, you don't even mind losing. But we're not losing. Let's do something great. How about a little bit of that? Graphically, awesome. Let's check out a little bit of uh, Street Fighter 2. Alright, so let's talk about graphics. Mortal Kombat 2 was such a huge improvement over Mortal Kombat 1. Graphically, it was much more vibrant. There was more fluid animation. The uh, backgrounds were dark, and uh, even though they were dark, it was still colorful. Uh, this game really excelled in graphics, especially over Mortal Kombat 1. That being said, I mean, judging from the gameplay you just saw, graphically out of 5, it's a perfect score. Yeah, I see you looking. Perfect score, 5 out of 5. Bushy's dying to play some Street Fighter now and uh, get into the graphics of that, so let's... Head over to Bushy Stallion and uh, watch some uh, Super Street Fighter 2 gameplay now. Check out that beautiful intro. Now is that awesome or what? Super Street Fighter 2 the new challengers let's get into some gameplay how does this game look graphically well look at this the uh, screen here 16 characters all with like great character face animations 
It's beautiful. Ryu has always been my favorite character in this game. Let's play. So you push start, it's a different color. No big deal. The versus screen looks beautiful. The stages look beautiful. That boat in the background. Characters on there, they all have personality. Even in the upper deck, there's uh, characters moving. Ken not doing a heck of a lot. But as you can see, the character graphics are incredible. What a beautiful game. Shorayuki. Tetsimaki, Tetsimaki. Ken seeing stars. There you go. Awesome. Graphically, beautiful. Sheng Long. Alright, so there you have it. A little bit of uh, graphic superiority over uh, Mortal Kombat. No, nah, don't give me that blah, blah, blah. This game is graphically superior, alright? Uh, over Championship Edition Street Fighter Hyper Fighting and the original Street Fighter 2. Uh, there were a lot of graphical improvements to this. You can even see the world uh, screen there. Is, it's very colorful, but, uh, you know, four new stages, four new characters. Uh, it, was, it was very vibrant. Like, in Jamaica, you got people dancing in the background and such. Graphically, this game was absolutely perfect. That being said, how can I not give it a 5 out of 5? So, uh, it looks like we're tied right now. But uh, we are going to touch on the uh, sound now. And uh, Daryl is going to play some more Mortal Kombat 2 and uh take a good listen to the uh, sound effects in that game and then when you listen to this bad boy right here it'll be a, a treat for your ears trust me round one fight all right so let's check out the sound effects for this incredible game gotta love that steve ritchie voice Music is beautiful. Sound effects for uh, getting hit. Beautiful. We're keeping quiet on purpose so you can hear it all and take it all in. Truly devastating. Alright, so I didn't say much in that uh, little bit of gameplay. I wanted you to uh, really hear the sound effects and the ambience in this game. Uh, the character sound effects uh, are very, very over the top and uh, hard hitting. They're exciting. The uh, sound effects of all the punches and kicks and such, it's, it's all bone crushing and ear shattering. It's, it's friggin' beautiful. The, uh, the music in this game is dark and uh, dark and kind of creepy, outworldish, really sets the tone. Uh, that being said, how can I not give this a 5 out of 5 for sound? Well, I just did. 5 out of 5 on sound, this game is perfect when it comes to sound. Now, Street Fighter, my opinion is a little bit tiny on the uh, sound effects there, but uh, I'll let uh, Bushy play, play a little bit there and... Uh, and then he can talk to you about uh, the sound in that game. Stop looking at me like that. He'll give you the uh, the scoop on Street Fighter 2. All right, let's talk about the sound. Hadouken, Hooken, everything sounds good. You can hear the kicks sound beautiful. The guy in the bike's riding by, you can hear him uh, doing his little bell. You destroy your opponent. 
and uh, you could feel their pain. I love the announcer's voice when they say, you win. Bit of an echo on the voice, still very cool. I love when you get perfect. Let's see if we can do that, I doubt it. But if you can get perfect, I love hearing the uh, announcer say, perfect. I think we got it. There you go. Perfect! I love it. Let's talk about it. All right, listen, I got to apologize. I'm sorry I had to cut the video there for us, you know, for us to talk about the sound. I know you wanted to keep listening because it sounds so good. Are you done? making fart noises with your armpits. Come on, just because we're talking about sound, you don't have to, uh, you know, kill the mic with flatulence, with armpit flatulence. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, the sound effects in Super Street Fighter 2 are amazing. Now, one of the uh, problems that people had with it were the, uh, the tiny voices. They switched the voices over. Uh, is that a bad thing? To me, it's not. I think it's a great thing. I think the sound effects are really cool in this version. I think it all comes together nicely. I think the um, the music is catchy. I mean, I still find myself whistling it sometimes, uh, you know, when I'm alone or, or humming it, you know, some of the uh, tunes in it. You'll never forget them. The uh, the punches and the kicks, they're all hard hitting. Uh, you know, the Hadoukens and such, are they're all there. Yes, they sound a little tinier now, but it's still there and it still works with this version of the game. So that being said, I am going to give the, uh, the sound in Super Street Fighter 2 a 5 out of 5, perfect score. I think it uh, it's incredible for this game. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to touch on is the controls. How well does Street Fighter control? How well does Mortal Kombat 2 control? Well, uh, let's uh, get into uh, Armpit Man over here and uh, some of his gameplay, and then we'll jump back on this baby like I know you want to see. Controls, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's check the uh, wonderful controls out in this game. Any good fighting game, controls are key. If the game doesn't do what you want it to do, it's not going to be fun. Mind you, this game's extremely hard, but uh, every move that I'm doing, the uh, character on screen responds accordingly. Thing I want my character to do, as long as I know how to do it, he will do it. <laughs> uh, you know we gotta feed the tree demons. I failed the first time, not because of the controls, because I did it wrong. First things first, uh, you call me Mr. Flatulence again, and uh, you know, you're gonna have. Oh, you're gonna what? You're gonna Krav Maga me, or you're gonna Honey Marmalade me, or whatever? Get out of here. Yes, I will Honey Marmalade you, and I will. You're lucky that uh, this channel is clean, and I'm the Mr. Rogers of Mortal Kombat, so I'm not gonna get into that. So, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, the controls. All right, so the controls for Mortal Kombat 2. The kicks, the punches, the blocks, the special moves, the finishing moves, they all work perfectly. If you know what you're doing, you know the inputs, then this game responds perfectly. What is the basis of any fighting game? It's the controls, and the controls in this are perfect. So, that being said, this game gets a 5 out of 5 when it comes to controls, which is more than I can say about Super Street Fighter 2. Yeah, you can... Okay, listen. The control in Super Street Fighter 2... I've played it uh, several times, and it just doesn't it doesn't flow nicely. But I'm going to let Bushy Stallion take care of this. He's going to do a little bit of gameplay on there, show you the controls, and then he can talk about uh, how wonky they are when it's his turn. All right, so how does this game control? Fireball, quarter circle, forward, punch. Perfect. Perfect, no problem. Shoryuken. Easy. 
you push punch, you push kick, you push back, everything does exactly what you want it to do as long as you put the inputs in correctly. And that is a beautiful thing. Let's uh, defeat Zangief here. Zangief, one of the uh, easier characters in this game. You just do a lot of kicks. And the AI in this game seems to be very uh, lenient, which is good. Ooh, got out of his stars pretty quick. Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki Kukak. There we go. Tossing big old wrestling Zangief like he's nothing. All right, that was great gameplay, wasn't it? Listen, first things first. I don't know what the. F Listen, he runs a clean channel. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna swear for the sake of the viewer, but uh, you know he's out of his mind. Saying that this was wonky, and the controls are janky, not at all. As you can see from the uh, bit of gameplay there, I go to do a Hadouken. Hadouken's no problem. I go to do the Tatsumaki. Uh, get, you get no problem, sure you can piece of cake. Kicks, punches, they all do what they uh, gotta do to block. You push back, or you crouch, and you push back in a diagonal. The controls are superb in this game. They work really well. That being said, Super Street Fighter 2 gets a 5 out of 5 for controls. Now, the last topic that we are going to uh, touch on is the uh, fun factor. How fun are these games? Listen, I'll give Mortal Kombat 2. It's it's pretty fun. Played it a few times. It's not bad. But Street Fighter 2, come on. You're going to want to play this all day long. So, that being said, let's get back over to Daryl and some uh, Mortal Kombat 2 gameplay. And he can talk about how much he loves Mortal Kombat 2 and uh, the fun factor in that game. And, uh, you know, it's to be expected. And uh, then we will come back to me and the uh, greatest game of all time. All right, last but not least, is this game fun? One thing about Mortal Kombat 2, it's notorious for having hard AI. The computer reads your inputs. So you have to have the uh, cheese exploits known in order to uh, beat the computer 99% of the time. But does that mean the game's not fun? Now, I've known this uh, secret for about 30 years, uh, this technique for about 30 years, and I have fun with this game almost every day. Win or lose, I have fun playing this game. Now, these fighting games, and I will mention this, are better played against another human opponent. However, the fun factor against the arcade, I find this to be awesome. Once you know the exploit, it feels so good punishing your opponent that I don't care how cheesy it is. I do not think that it uh, deters from the gameplay, the fun factor, by any means. I think it's still a ton of fun. And that's what this game is about. So let's uh, kill Baraka. And we will talk about it a bit. Uh, let's take his soul. This game is tons of fun, and I will continue to play it probably until my dying day. All right, so like uh, Nelly Furtado says in that one song of hers, uh, flames to dust, lovers to friends, why do all good things come to an end? I don't know why I just thought of that, but unfortunately that's the end of the gameplay for Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, it's so fun, I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to put it down. I absolutely love this game. Yes, Bushy is right about that. Um, I've loved this game forever since it came out. It's been my favorite game of all time. Uh, the fun factor, I'm giving it a, a 5 out of 5. Perfect score. Um, to me, playing against the arcade and figuring out that old cheese trick or whatever, love the memories associated with that back in the day. And uh, I loved carrying it over until now. I still use this trick. And even though I've learned a few more tricks over the years, um, over the past year especially, 
Uh, single player in this game is great. You know, a lot of people found the AI to be extremely hard, but once you get past it and you do the little cheese things, regardless of the cheese that you got to pull against the arcade, I still think it's super fun. But where this game really shines and, and excels is in the uh, PvP, player versus player, um, the online matches on the other arcade one up or on Fight Cave, whatever. It's always uh, so much fun to play. And uh, to me, this game is just perfect. So that being said, this game gets a 20 out of 20. Bushy, I'd like to see you beat that with uh, Super Street Fighter 2. So let's uh, head over to uh, some Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 gameplay. Let's see if Bushy has some fun playing that. Round one. All right, is this game fun? So, cool things about this game. The uh, computer AI is very, very lenient in this. You can one credit the game if you're good enough. You don't have to worry about uh, arcade or computer going nuts on you. So to play the computer, the one player in this, you're very accessible, very fun. Obviously, if you're playing against someone, Hadouken! It's a little more fun, but that's not to take away from the single player mode. There's cool stories in this for every character, and uh, you just you really want to just keep playing over and over again. You want to see all the character endings. You want to learn their moves. You want to get past E Honda's hundred hand slap. You know what I mean? Just a great, great, fun game. Again, to touch on graphics and sound, like everything works so well in this game, so nicely, it all goes well together. And I absolutely love this game. Is it fun? It's a ton of fun. It's so much fun, I want to play one more, one more round. Why not? Let's do one more round against Bruce Lee. I mean, Fei Long. I mean, Jet Li. I mean, Jackie Chan. I mean, Fei Long. Look out! All right, I think we might lose this round. And if we do, that'll be where we end it. <laughs> you got the uh, red Hadoukens, the blue Hadoukens. It all depends on the half circle or the quarter circle. Like a half chicken and quarter chicken, it's all good. Boom! Excellent. Let's talk about the gameplay and the final verdict. The fun factor, the final verdict. Alright, the uh, fun factor for Super Street Fighter 2. I didn't want to stop playing, like uh, Daryl didn't want to stop playing MK2, I didn't want to stop playing this. I think uh, they share many of the same uh, qualities as a fighting game in general. Um, Super Street Fighter 2, it's a ton of fun against the arcade, it's not as cheap as Mortal Kombat 2. Um, it's still pretty, you know, pretty difficult depending on your uh, skill level. I'm an average gamer when it comes to this, but I do love the game. Um, where this excels, again, is the PvP, player versus player, uh, when you're playing against somebody else. It's just, it's that much more fun. Is that proper English? I don't know. But it's, it's more fun when you play it that way. But, I mean, I can play this game by myself all day. So, uh, that being said, I'm going to give this, uh, for fun factor, a 5 out of 5. Now, uh, that means that this is a 20 out of 20. Mortal Kombat 2 is 20 out of 20. Which game is better? Um, I think Super Street Fighter 2 takes the cake for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. That does not mean that Super Street Fighter takes the cake. All right. I think... Uh, just the fact that this is a Mortal Kombat dominant uh, channel, that means basically that Mortal Kombat being 20 out of 20 gets the uh, the win for this versus video. There's there's no uh, you know Street Fighter taking the cake. Yes, Street Fighter 2 is better. It takes the cake. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is done. Ah, sit, sit down like hell it is. Mortal Kombat 2 wins 20 out of 20. It's a Mortal Kombat channel. Mortal Kombat wins. No, Street Fighter wins. Mortal Kombat Street Fighter wins. Mortal Kombat, no Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat 2, Street
Street Fighter. What are you two morons arguing about? I was just uh, saying to Bushy over here that Mortal Kombat 2 is infinitely better than Super Street Fighter 2. It's a 20 out of 20, and uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, first off, who are you calling a moron? Uh, secondly, Super Street Fighter 2 is the uh, perfect fighting game from its time and today. And this gets a uh, 20 out of 20 also, even though Mortal Kombat 2, I mean, come on. 20 out of 20 right here. Well, that's easy. MK2 gets a 19, Street Fighter 2 gets a 19, but Tekken, it's a 20. Now, can you get out so I can watch real t YouTuber killer arcade games? Did she, did she say Tekken? Did she say Tekken? Hmm. Yeah, I could watch some killer arcade games.